No matter what angle you looked at Arthur Shawcross, he was a very evil and troubled man. What started off as arson forged into a killing spree that lasted for 17 years. I uh, cut parts of the body out. One part, vagina. Arthur John Shawcross was born in Kittery, Maine, and was the first child out of four children. The family soon moved to Watertown, New York, when Arthur was still young. Throughout his childhood, Arthur became a frequent bedwetter, which is associated with violent tendencies in children. Arthur also claimed his mother performed oral sex on him for several years, and it started when he was only seven years old. He even reported having incestuous relations with his sister in junior high. And as the years progressed, Arthur had became a bully and would act out violently. In 1960, at 15 years old, Arthur dropped out of high school, and when he turned 21, Arthur was drafted into the United States Army. During this time, he had had his first divorce and gave up his rights to their 18-month-old son and never saw them again. He boasted often about his combat and murder on the front line, but it was all lies because he never served in a combat position. He got married again while being stationed in Fort Sill, Oklahoma. His new wife described his behaviors as strange, especially his knack for starting unnecessary fires, which he expressed made him sexually aroused. Once he was discharged from the army, he left with his wife Linda and moved back to New York. But it didn't last long between the two after Arthur started committing crimes like arson and burglary. He was soon caught and arrested and sentenced to 22 months in prison but he was released early in October of 1971. He was only released early after rescuing a correctional officer during a prison riot. Afterwards, Arthur moved back to his hometown, Watertown, where he settled in, got a job, and married again for the third time. However, things only went downhill from here when he committed his first murder. It was on May 7, 1972 when he raped and murdered 10-year-old Jake Blake after luring the child into a wooded area of Watertown. However, the body wasn't found until September 5th. He then killed another child on September 2nd and was arrested the very next day. He was indicted but allowed to plead to a lesser sentence by pleading guilty to manslaughter and given 25 years. Sadly, there wasn't enough evidence so they released Arthur after 14 years. The psychiatrist highly disagreed with his release and warned the jury about his schizo-psychopathic diagnosis. But he was deemed safe and released into the world once more to terrorize children in the community. The Watertown community made a public outcry to Arthur's release and forced him to relocate. So him and his fourth wife moved to Rochester, New York. Sadly, Arthur was far from over when it came to his killing because 12 more bodies piled up. His first murder in Rochester happened in March of 1988, just a year after being released. The victim, 27-year-old Dorothy Blackburn, had been strangled and dumped in the Genesee River. He didn't stop. In fact, he killed four more people in the exact same way. By 1989, the FBI suspected that he had a serial killer on the loose and they needed a profile immediately. The investigators realized that all the victims were young women who were prostitutes. But a breakthrough in the case came in January of 1990 when a police helicopter spotted a man on a bridge near the murder victims. However, the man, who was Arthur, got away in his van, but the helicopter got his plate numbers and he was arrested on January 4th. Arthur Shawcross agreed to cooperate with the police and confessed to 12 murders. But the 12th murder couldn't be proven. And what's even more shocking is that his confession was 80 pages long. During the trial, Arthur's lawyers claimed that Arthur was insane, but it was rejected by the court. The judge sentenced the serial killer to 250 years in prison. But hey, at least this time, he's never getting out. Arthur Shawcross did die in prison in 2008 at the age of 63.